actually have one of our um, listeners here is asking, is there any loss of functionality from R3 to SAP S4 HANA? Mm. Loss of functionality? Yeah. Um, well, yeah, actually, that's there is, actually. So the one that jumps to mind straight away is um, foreign trade. Ah. So foreign trade has always been um, uh, within SD. Um, and there's, a, there's additional things in there, like um, licenses that we talked about earlier. Um, some of that has been moved to the international trade area of, of, of um, S4 HANA, but, but most of the foreign trade stuff is now in SAP GTS. So mm -hmm. SAP really want you as a client to implement the, the uh, global trade solutions um, uh, module um, or add-on that they have. It's pretty expensive. <laughs> it's not for everyone. So um, what they, um, in the early stage, early years of S4 HANA, you know, they put the whole lot, all of foreign trade into GTS. I think there was a bit of a mutiny with them. Um, I was going to say, back in R3, they, you got everything. Didn't you? Yeah, exactly, You didn't even yeah. know what you yeah. had. You didn't even install it. Yeah, yeah. And so they brought some of the key functions back in to core, core SD. The other one, which is kind of SD, I suppose, but some might argue it's, it's a little bit on the extreme end of distribution, is warehouse management. Oh, yeah. Weird. And you've got warehouse management in, in, in S4 HANA, but it's only supported until the end of 20, 2025. And so what you need to try and build in and what the recommended path is, is extended warehouse management, EWM, which comes in various different forms. And I'm not really going to go into that. I mean, embedded or, or decentralized EWM and all that kind of stuff. And SAP have worked pretty hard from um, to bring in to more basic functionality so you haven't got to do this massive monolithic ewm system which sits externally from from the core of sap so those are those are a couple of things that are deprecated i guess within the uh, may i add something mm -hmm. and Please this do. is you know at the risk of being a, a self-evident you know all those customizations you have in ecc the z functionality your z tables your z fields guess what Bye-bye, they're gone. You have to replicate all that stuff into uh, S4 HANA when you migrate over. Um, and despite, uh, you know, th this adds, a, a, you know, quite a bit of extra cost to your migration to S4 HANA. And I opened my comments at the top of the hour with that there is some resistance to S4 HANA. And, and I know that there are a lot of companies out there still running ECC that uh, have yet to make the necessary jump to S4 HANA. You know, typically it's cost related. But uh, in some cases, uh, some of these companies running uh, ECC are at risk. Um, I know of uh, one in particular that will not be named in this call that is adding right now much additional Z functionality to their ECC system. Hmm. You know, uh, careful with that. Uh, you know, your legacy system, your, you know, your, what, what, what is it? Uh, you know, today's system is tomorrow's legacy system. Yeah. Uh, and you're going to have to convert all of that to uh, S4 HANA once the ECC support runs out, which is currently set for uh, 2027, you know, they, they keep pushing this back a little bit to accommodate the customer base. But uh, obviously you need to be very careful with uh, pursuing enhancements in ECC. You're very well advised to uh, make the jump into uh, S4 HANA first and then do all that work. So you only have to do it once, you know, why? why? Yeah, I think, I think James, it, it, it follows the, the market trend in ERP, 